What is up guys, it's Kevin. Today we're going to be showing you how to record and set everything up with XSplit, whether it be with Call of Duty, RuneScape, which is another game that we stream, um, or anything else you need to know about the setup for XSplit. So that's what we're going to go through today. So as you can see on the screen, we have me, and I just put that on there just because. So I'm going to take that off, just because we don't need it anymore. So let's just say, well first of all, what you would need to do in XSplit is go in and add your channel you would go in and add your Twitch name, you'd click authorize, it would bring up a menu for you to go over and then authorize your Twitch account basically with uh, XSplit. And that'll allow you to broadcast straight from here like this, like clicking this button right now would allow me to stream directly to Twitch from my account. And I wouldn't actually have to go on the website to start it myself. But you would have to go there to view the chat anyway. So what you want to do because you have these scenes so for the first one I have this is for my RS which is just a preloaded one that I have I'm not gonna mess with I'm gonna show you how to do a brand new one so first like say you I already have an RS screen loaded so say you wanted to put this screen on to your stream so you would go to add you would go to screen region and then you would want to select this region that you'd like so obviously I want this one so that'll pop up on here now that you've already selected it and you can drag this to your full screen and you for our purposes you would want to right click it you can go to layout and uncheck keep aspect ratio this will make it to the full screen instead of having it be its set aspect ratio that uh, the client automatically makes it so this will stretch it to fit the screen and that will work perfectly fine for anything that you would need alright so let's say you wanted to put a webcam in so you would add your camera you would add Logitech whatever camera you have so it doesn't really matter you can add, like I did before with other screen you can move this place it wherever you really want uh, preferably unless you would want it on the top of course so let's just say you put it there um, anything else let's say you had I'm gonna open up a music thing here let's say you wanted to put in music to show let's say you wanted to show the music just to see what was playing so you on XSplit you, let's just drag this down here so I can see everything you would go to add again screen region you'd select what you want and we want just that part so that'll come up on here you can take it string it down just put that in this corner just because I don't really it doesn't matter where it just matters wherever you want it you can put it it'll allow you to do whatever you want so that's there and that'll come up over top of this and this goes in order from bottom to top so say I were to move this down it would go behind the screen now it's up again so it doesn't really matter anyway so let's see say you had a donations or follower alert like you wanted to use I have one already set up so I'm just gonna bring this up so that it will show of new follower test user this is just a test but if somebody actually were to follow us it would pop up with their name so what you want to do again this is the same exact thing you'd add screen region for this specific thing you want to do a 580 by 110 uh, ratio so we'll go to 580 and 110 right there and then it'll come up with a green screen of it because the background's green and exactly like I said green screen you want to make it so there's a so it makes everything transparent wherever that is so you want to go you want to right click this image of the green or wherever you're looking at go to color and hit chroma key now that will take away the automatic green color and you can move this then wherever you want so you drag it down oh, there we go and then when I refresh this if somebody were to actually follow us it would pop up and show them following us now as you can see it's really hard to see on this but there are little black bars on this on each edge of the well mainly for the top edge and the left edge and that can be taken off if you go to layout and in the cropping section so the top maybe we can take away five I think it's I think it's done oh, that one away I think it's done by pixels so say you do five that'll take away that top edge and we'll do two on uh, we need more than two we'll do five again and it, see how it takes away that little edge right there so then that makes that practically invisible alright and then so say we refresh it again and it would still pop up and show your new follower and then you can move that around wherever you want um let's see okay 
and then along with microphone tools. So this setting <clears throat> or this monitor is your system output. So this is from anything that your computer will output itself, not the microphone, not anything else. That's what this one's for. So if you want to mute, mute, mute your sound from your system, you can click that. Or if you go to general settings and you can set up your microphone and that will set up that. You obviously am using a blue snowball, so I will click that. And oh, also you want to change your recordings location to wherever you want it. I accidentally put in the C drive one time and it filled it up fairly quickly, even though I have a D or a different drive which has is a terabyte of memory, so just put that wherever you want to. You just browse wherever you want to put it. If you playing I'll show you that in a second, never mind. So that's basically this audio stuff. You can mute your audio if you want, and then you can adjust their levels using this. It's pretty self-explanatory. Okay. All right, now let's say you wanted to play Call of Duty instead. I also have that screen up. Let's bring it up. So we have our COD screen here, and we're basically going to do the exact same thing we're going to add a screen region. Actually, in XSplit you can add a game and it will automatically detect my Elgato game capture and you can run it straight from that thing. But for my purposes, if we're playing game battles or whatnot, you actually need to record your game and save it to your computer, even though it can save from a stream, but it's just easier just to do it straight from here. So because of that reason, I'm going to go and just select a screen region again and then select right down to where it wants it to be and then like I said just drag it up and then you can move your other things above that so that it'll show up alright so let's say you refresh this again for a follower it would still pop up my webcam is there now if you're gonna stream Call of Duty a lot of people a lot of people use a like a um, a background media file to just as a background just for prettiness I guess so when I already have one made so you go to, you would want to go to add media file this is gonna be like a PNG image or JPEG image whatever you want and this would go around your game and have a transparency in the middle so you can see everything through it so you would go to select media file I just have mine saved to the desktop and so if say you bring this up and then you drag it to your full screen size and then I would because I have this set up with a picture here this is for my webcam so then we can move uh, here, on, let me remove that I'll add a camera again because for some reason it's being weird okay so and for this you actually need to move the aspect ratio because it doesn't fit in my box exactly so then you move it just into the box there you go. So now you can see me and the game behind it. And if you can see on the top of this, there's those awkward little white bars. So like I said before, just on the thing, it's just the cropping tool. You would just crop the top, let's say, no, that goes away again. Two, that'll make it go away. And there we go, that's everything fixed. And I don't think there's anything else that has to do with this. Um, Let's see, anyway, okay, so like I said, if you're going to go broadcast, you would just hit that button and it would automatically broadcast straight to your channel and you won't have to worry about anything. Um, let's see, I believe that that's it. If anybody has any questions, please comment them in the section below and I will get to them as fast as, as, fast as I can or if you would like a different video relating to stuff like this, let me know and I will also make that for you guys. Um, like I said or not really, but like, favorite, subscribe if you would like more of these things, and also like, or uh, subscribe if you would like more RS stuff or COD stuff, because that's what we do, and so yeah, if any of you guys have any questions, like I said, just comment them below, and hope you guys have a great day.